Wing Chun is a self-defense art which specializes in close-range combat. Now, Wing Chun dates back several hundred years and has roots in the mainland China. And here recently, Training to Survive was visited by one of Wing Chun's most prominent instructors, Sifu Allen Lam from England. Teamed up with local instructor Steve Cottrell from Fort Worth, these gentlemen put together a segment to help us understand how the Wing Chun art works in close quarters. Let's go now to Alan Lamb and Steve Cottrell and let's take a look at Wing Chun in action. Hi, I'm Sifu Alan Lamb and this is Sifu Steve Cottrell. Uh, we'd like to demonstrate a little bit about the Wing Chun system. Wing Chun is a close range fighting art that was developed by a Buddhist nun named Ung Moi and then it was further developed by Yim Wing Chun, hence the name Wing Chun Kung Fu. One of the things about Wing Chun is its ability to stick and to be able to counterattack from close range. Now, one of the drills that we use is if Steve were to assume a fighting position, we'd start off, even though this looks formalized, later it becomes looser, with three punches. He throws a right punch, left punch, right punch. So the idea on this is to develop this lead hand block. Now, at any one of those points, which from here, this is our counter move, it's called Bong Sao and Lap Sao. What we do is deflect and then lap, pull down, and punch from this position. Now, if you were to perceive the attacker doing pu two punches, right, left, you move to the outside this way. So, again, it's from here, switching your angle, coming in like this. Now, if I thought he was going to do three punch, you wanted to catch on the three beat, from here, pack saw. Now, the idea of this pack saw is very good in terms of self-defense. Most styles use a one-two beating, a uh, one-two beat, uh, blocking pattern. If Steve were to attack like this from here, here is basically how you'd use it in a karate style uh, defense. Now, if Steve had two good hands, as I do the rising block, I'm going to be eating the second fist. So if Steve throws this punch from here, we can get this preemptive move in. So if he's attacking from this position like this, it can be a throat shot, temple shot, jaw shot. And the nice thing is, if he were to pack sow and do a defensive move, we have moves from here which follow in. And one of the drills for training this from the right position is what's called pack sow, and it's a reciprocal drill like this. So if he attacks, I defend. He attacks, I defend. He attacks, I defend. And the idea is to get these moves so they're hardwired at your subconscious. There's a saying in Wing Chun, the moves have to be in your bones, and these repetitive moves get the techniques in your bones. Now, in this position, again, if Steve were to throw the right punch, my defense from here is to attack. Now, from the drill, we practice like this, so we get the feel of that rear hand checking. And this block, this Paxo, is often used in boxing in many styles. If I anticipated this hand coming up, I can take it from here into a knife hand. So that is from here, I attack. Now, if he were to get the second hand up from here, we also have a move like this. If you got the third hand up, we're coming in from this position like this. So the idea is in Wing Chun to flow from one move to the other. So if he didn't block, obviously we'd be hoping to hit the guy. He blocks, you're ready for this. He blocks, you're ready for it. He blocks, you're ready again. Okay, so the idea of Wing Chun is to stay in there and to press home your attack. So it's a very true hard soft system, defensive and offense. I hope this uh, brief explanation is uh, informative. I hope you enjoyed this segment and look forward to seeing you on the show again soon. Thank you. Hey man, you think you can help me out? I can't seem to get my car started. You got some jobs? Hey, 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 hey